All right, I'm Dr. Aaron MacArthur. I'm a chiropractic, chiropractic neurologist, a functional neurologist, and we're gonna just talk about what's going on with this patient. Uh, this patient, you won't know who the patient is, but this is a patient that we're seeing that has come in recently to see us uh, with, she had COVID a little while ago, some other uh, backgrounds uh, of information, but her main symptoms are migraines, dizziness, lightheadedness, fatigue. Uh, she gets a really fast heartbeat, known as tachycardia, um, if it gets too high. Uh, and she gets flushing in, in, in her hands and feet, and she also gets you know extreme cold feeling in her hands and feet and lightheadedness when she stands up too fast, uh, all of these things uh, that are really centered around what's called dysautonomia. And that is really just a problem in the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system centers, lives in our brainstem, okay? So if we look at the brain, straight on, this is like looking at it, me like this, you have your cortex, which is our mind that we think of as the brain, and there's two halves, two hemispheres, and then you have this brain stem in here that continues on as your spinal cord, um, and here is the base of your skull for reference sake. And so where this autonomic nervous system lives is right in here, okay? And that autonomic nervous system is a system that controls where our blood flow goes when it should go there, okay? So where and where and where, where and how it gets there. So when we do something, right, when I move my arm as I am now, I need to be able to talk to my brain and send blood flow to those muscles and nerves and joints and all these things that need to, that allow us to move that arm. The same thing occurs in our brain when we use our brain, we need blood flow to be sent to that part of the brain to fuel our nerve cells and the signals that will allow us to think or perform a task or whatever it is. The only problem is, is that we only have about five to six liters of blood in us, which is not enough to be everywhere at once. So when we, we have to have a system that can push blood flow where we need it when we need it, okay? So where and when, and you do that fast. It has to be super fast. We should not be noticing this at all. What happens in dysautonomia is that people aren't doing this quickly. This system is slow to process. This autonomic nervous system is slower in the process. It's not signaling quickly enough and therefore we're not getting blood flow to the area fast enough and the brain kind of runs out of seemingly fatigue. And that comes with light and sound sensitivity, it creates migraines, it creates lightheadedness, creates dizziness, creates all kinds of issues when you don't give your brain cells the fuel they need or oxygen they need to, to function. So the interesting thing about the autonomic nervous system is it's connected with everything. Everything filters through it just about and everything, it's connected with everything and it makes sense because everything needs blood, everything no matter what system it needs oxygen. So all these other systems are sending information to this autonomic nervous system to give it the input it needs to determine where it should send blood. So the information coming in has to be good so that the output of blood to that area will also be good. So. What happens and what we look for, what we, what we, why we do a really good job with these types of patients typically is that we are able to detect where the problems are of the input to this system and we correct these systems over time and now the information coming into the system is healthy again and this, this autonomic nervous system can process it properly. Rarely is the problem the actual autonomic nervous system. It's not the problem right here. It's usually the problem is elsewhere coming into it. So we work with the brain and the musculoskeletal system. The spine can cause problems here, um, which is part of what we work on. The brain, uh, the cortex can cause problems here. This is also what we work on. The vestibular system, the inner ear balance center is a major 
uh, contributor to how this autonomic nervous system works, which in the case of the patient I'm referring to, her problem is in the right anterior canal of her vestibular system in this inner, inner ear, causing an interruption in signaling here. And when the vestibular system is interrupted, then this system really suffers. It's, it's a very important input to that. Other ones, it can kind of get by with it, but this, the vestibular system, it needs that information. And it comes through this pathway called the vestibulosympathetic pathway that comes all the way down through here. The visual system is really important too, and that system uh, helps us determine where our head is in space. So all of these things uh, really help us to understand where's our balance, are we standing up, how much blood flow do we need to the brain? Every, all the, the rest of the blood that we have pumps from our heart goes down and gravity helps it. The only thing above our heart is our brain. So our brain needs that really specialized, really fine-tuned system that uh, you know, is going to tell us where we need blood flow. My, my uh, mentor and instructor, Dr. Carrick, always says, if it's happening in the hands, it's happening in the brain. So if you're, not, if you're feeling like you know, cold hands, not enough blood flow to the hands, it's probably happening up in the brain too. So it's a good indicator for us uh, that there's something going on here. So with her, what we're going to do is specifically do uh, vestibular rehabilitation exercises. We're gonna do tilt table therapy with specialized nerve stimulation to these regions of the autonomic nervous system. We're going to do visual therapy to, co to correct your visual input um, that comes down into this, into this autonomic nervous system. We're gonna do cortical therapy. We're gonna do chiropractic work, specialized neurological chiropractic treatment that's going to help revitalize this. So we're gonna correct all these little pieces and she's gonna do really, really well. How she got there, potentially COVID, um, concussions uh, can do this, illnesses can do this, uh, life in general can do this, just, you know, we don't know where it comes from. Um, you know, uh, Lyme disease, all these things can contribute to this. But once they're fixed, once you, you're, you're not, you, once you don't experience the COVID anymore, you, you're healed from that, or you're healed from the Lyme or whatever it might be, most people still have these, uh, people who have these continuing symptoms still have these errors in here that never got corrected in the neurological system, in the, in the brain. So this is where we come in. We come in and we figure out where these problems are after you've already healed. Another way we do this is through hyperbaric oxygen therapy which gives us a lot of oxygen to the brain, a tremendous amount that's going to help heal this autonomic nervous system. Uh, and the rest of the brain is gonna give the fuel to support the treatment that we're gonna be doing that's going to help rewire this autonomic nervous system. So we're reprogramming her system to function normally again, and she will function normally again. She will get blood flow wherever she needs it. That's it.